You and your friends have crash landed on a planet. On that planet is a crazy robot that regulates things and tells you what to do. All of that is just theme, however, and none of it matters unless you are uh, interested in reading the uh, fiction that is playfully interspersed throughout this instruction book. No, the, the subject matter of this game of games that comes in this white envelope is a lot more interesting, and it does matter to you. The basics of any game of Crusoe's Planet is going to consist of two big parts. One part is the crash site and moving through the planet to the market, and the other part is the market and determining uh, how well you're surviving. All right, so crash site, you're just going to be deciding turn order and then um, picking which path you are going to go on in turn order. Now. Once you're on a path, it's it's a, it's a small little roll and move game <laughs> where you're just rolling the die and moving and then collecting these different resources. Now, if you, we look at our icon key here, we see that we have water, apples, bananas. All the, these are these are alien equivalents, though really that doesn't matter of these foods. Um, diamonds, spears, all of these things are actually representative of other um, sorts of commodities that you might find in your life. Um, so you pick a path, and there's a, there's a couple things to that. One is uh, the more you go on a path, the better you are at that path. And so if you are on sand crab multiple times, you're going to gain experience in sand crab so that when you roll certain die numbers, you can actually have some choice as to which space you go on. Um, the other thing is, is if you are on the same path as someone else, that path's output is going to be decreased for both of you. So the more people that are on a given path, the, the fewer resources they're going to be able to get from that path. Um, and then the final thing, I know I said one thing, another thing, and now I'm saying a final thing, uh, is that each path has its own kind of specialty, uh, its own sort of character that you can learn about as the game goes on and that you can use to your, ex your uh, advantage or to the advantage of the group, depending on how you're playing. That first section of the game is fun enough and, and relatively simple. It should go pretty quickly um, each turn that you go through that roll and move, pick up thing, exercise. When it doesn't, you get into problems. Um, people are putting too much of their energy into the, the roll and move aspect, which can happen because it's very visual, right? That's what's on the board. Um, the game can kind of get bogged down and you don't really get to the, the crux of it, which is the market portion of the game. That's really where you want to be putting your energy into uh, playing Crusoe's Planet. Crusoe's Planet has a number of different like broad scenarios that you can play, which each represent a particular uh, economic model, an economic structure, <coughs> which the people on the planet will um, have to follow. So the basic ones are capitalism, socialism, communism, and then a traditional economy. Then um, you can get more complicated with that. You can have money markets with commodities and all of that, and taxes, and all sorts of great fun. Uh, different government structures, different, uh, you can have uh, representative democracies, you can have um, di dictators, and there's rules for all of that. And depending on which, what you choose, you know, in terms of government, in terms of economic system, you're going to be playing a very different Crusoe's planet each and every time, and that market phase is going to be very different. And since you can kind of have the forethought to choose what you're going to do, um, you can you can kind of know a little bit about what sort of game you're going to be playing, and then also um, be able to appreciate the results of those different different factors. Uh, along with the scenarios you also have later on in this instruction book, and also in your own imagination. Uh, the ability to to put on modular tack-ons, so you can have like the effects of sexism, uh, the effects of slavery, the effects of uh, physical disabilities, and how the government deals with those things. So your group is going to be going down their paths and picking up different goods like bananas and eggs and whatnot, and collecting leisure, uh, which is always nice. And then they're going to get to the market phase on a given turn. And once they're in the market phase, they're going to redistribute those goods based on their economic models. The, the goods are going to be redistributed for the, for the purpose of determining points. And the points are decided by this table. And this table is um, 
constant with all the different games, though it could be changed, I guess, as well. Um, interesting point about this game, actually. Victory, in general, is not exclusive. Uh, if you have a positive score at the end of the game, you win. Anyone who has a positive score wins, so it's not exclusive. Crusoe's Planet is not only a game about economics, but it's probably uh, the most economical game I own. You get so many different games in this, this one pouch. Um, that's, it seems seemingly endless, and it really, it really um, encourages repeated plays because, you know, you play with a given group with capitalism, for example, and I'm, I'm sticking to the most basic ones. There's a lot more variation you can do with that. You know, it would be fun to see what, what, what the same group would behave like if they were socialists or if they were communists or if they were part of some feudal economy or if, um, you know, half the people were racist, or, you know, um, it, it kind of, because of that, it, I would say most of the scenarios play like a negotiation game, though um, oftentimes people will play cooperatively, it kind of just depends on how they feel about each other. Uh, you can, you know, as you get into those more racist, r racy, <laughs> racy subjects like racism, uh, you definitely are going to get, um, it's going to be harder to feel cooperative, I guess, as you play. Crusoe's Planet!